Space tourism gets a boost as Billionaire lays out his plan to orbit Mars by 2018. Andy Pastor joins me with the exclusive story. Andy, thanks so much for joining us from Los Angeles this morning. My pleasure. So tell us who's behind this ambitious mission to Mars. So this is quite an inspirational idea, and it was conceived as a way to excite um, students, excite young people, and show America's supremacy in, in space. And uh, the reason to do it in 2018 is because of the position of the, the planets, this kind of a flyby or swing by Mars, not actually a full orbit, would be easier to do in 2018 because there would be a, it would be a faster trip than otherwise. So the only problem is that uh, it's going to be announced today, but unfortunately the company that was going to provide the rocket and the spacecraft for this mission, Space Exploration Technologies Corp., Elon Musk's company, has pulled out. So this is a great idea, getting a lot of attention, but at this point no firm financing plan and really not a firm plan about uh, the equipment they will use. Why did they, uh, they pull out, Andy? Why, why did they decide this wasn't something they wanted to pursue? That's the big question in the space industry, uh, one of the big questions. Not clear. They have a lot of things on their plate. They have a lot of uh, government pro programs to, to do. They have uh, some private launches that they want to do. But on the other hand, I would say this is a very risky mission. Um, lots of radiation on the way to Mars. This could be, a, a, unfortunately, a very dangerous one. And it could be that SpaceX decided they just didn't want to be involved at this point in something that could really uh, turn into a, 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 a pretty sad um, situation, not a success. Right, right. And with no U.S. government man missions planned for at least 10 years, uh, we know the White House has been, and NASA have been criticized for having real no clear plan. So is it possible he could find support elsewhere and this could go forward? Well, I think it certainly is, and I think uh, Mr. Tito has shown that he's very interested in space and able to raise money, and he's willing to put up a significant amount of his own money, as much as $100 million, if you believe some industry officials who've, um, who've dealt with the, the people around him. So I think it is possible that he could pull this off, but it's a very difficult project with uh, a lot of risk, and uh, unfortunately at this point it, it doesn't look like he has a clear path uh, which is always a uh, you know necessary to try to raise a lot of money. Right, and and what would be the specific goals he would be trying to accomplish if he were to get this rocket and get this mission moving forward? What what is he hoping to achieve with uh, circling Mars? Well, certainly, primarily, it would be to show that we can do it. That would be the the biggest and most important. Uh, goal. But other than that, there are lots of things you can learn from the way people live in space, to protecting them from radiation, to exercise, to effects on their health, and uh, something about uh, orbital mechanics as well. But I think primarily this would be a show the flag kind of mission expedition, which would say we can do it and we'll be back and we'll have some people who may even be able to land on the planet. Um, down much further down the road. And I know Mr. Tito is said to be the first space tourist. Uh, do you think that there will be more of this going forward, more private missions, more people with lots of money to spend looking to go into space on their own? Yes, I think you're already seeing that, but of course most of the space missions that uh, are getting uh, private funding and, uh, and interest are much shorter in duration. These would be the thrill rides to go just into the edge of space where people would be weightless. Those are Virgin, Gal Virgin uh, Galactic and uh, Sir Richard Branson and, uh, and some other pro projects that are, tr are trying to track those kind of tourists. So I think that's in the works. That's definitely going to happen. But that is a long, long way, if you will, from those kinds of missions to going to Mars for 17 months on a round trip. Uh, in a in a small um, capsule with uh, two of you dependent on the life systems of that capsule. That's a big difference. Wow, the final frontier. Okay, Andy, thanks so much for joining us this morning.